welcome to AM Alcohol. Here are your hosts, Logan Wolf and Colin Wolf. Welcome back, mi amigos. Yo, what's up? Guess what? We got two guests today. We do. We're doing it big this time. Uh, We're getting bigger. Wh- why don't you introduce yourselves over there? Well, Tyler Wolf. Already been here only one time, but I'm back. Returning, remaining returning. champ. <laughs> <laughs> Our first returning. Oh, my God. And then we got uh, Jordan Garcia, a.k.a. Jordy Rob. Jordy yeah. Rob and the cows. Oh, yeah. Hashtag blessed right now. I know. That's exciting. We actually have somebody we can actually like promote the yeah. thing for. Like it could be like an actual interview. It could be. It could be. It, could it be. probably but it won't, won't be. be. We'll actually see that. Because I wrote down no notes today. We're going no freestyle. Yeah. So why don't you tell them what we're drinking first? Okay. So I bought some stuff to make mimosas. Um, a little throwback because isn't that what we drank the first the episode? first or second time we did it? Yeah, yeah. But today being New Year's Eve. Oh yeah, it's New Year's Eve. It's New Year's I, Eve. There's so much shit right. going on. I keep forgetting yeah. what day it is. Um, so we decided to go something with a little lighter this mm-hmm. morning because it is a morning edition of AM alcohol. It's like a cocktail. Oh yeah, we made it. <laughs> AM edition. What time is it? Eleven <laughs> thirty. <laughs> the last few times we did this AM alcohol, it was like four p.m. <laughs> Something we probably should. It was the AM somewhere though in the world. So. Somewhere, yeah. it's true. Yeah, to them, depends. So, how is everybody's mimosa taste? I'm generally uh, a terrible, people. you know, mixer, mixologist, mm-hmm. but no, it's good. Mine's really good. I don't know how's yours, Ty. I'm on dry point. I like it. Yep, it's I good. like it. That is good. Refreshing. All right, so let's go. So, Jordy, Ty, how were your nights last night? Well, from what I remember. Bad decisions were made. <laughs> that's usually how it goes. See, we briefly started talking about this one. Like, wait, save it for the podcast. Yeah. I need to know what happened. Well, first of all, we started off with four locos, which is never a good idea. No, not anybody's choice ever. <laughs> well, we went try to get sparks. I don't know if anybody knows what sparks. Oh yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah. First, yeah. First it was I not my drank. idea to get the sparks. By the way, I knew <laughs> I I'd get pins for I'll this take, shit. I take full responsibility for that. But <laughs> dude, we went both to, suck. They're terrible. Yeah. But the one tastes like sweethearts or sweet tarts, and yeah. the other one like tastes like. Ass, pretty much. <laughs> so four locos yeah, taste like four, ass. Four locos. Taste oh, like didn't they re- didn't ass. they recall those? Well, they did because they had like too much caffeine in them. Yeah, or something, people were people, dying off of them. Yeah, they yeah. were like passing out and like. <laughs> so there was a simple <laughs> recall. <laughs> <laughs> so we, wait, we waited for them to come back out. And they brought no. them back with more alcohol in this time. <laughs> wait, okay. I probably haven't had 14. a four loco since <clears throat> sophomore year of college. Like right, right. And this same year since college, we try to get sparks. They don't have them, right? So Tyler looks and goes, "Yeah, we'll just get four locos." So we got four. Four locos and uh I don't know. It gives you like a weird drunk. What, like kind, what you, kind of four loco did you get? It's gold. Gold. See, it tastes like a red gold. bull. It yeah, it like d- doesn't bull. taste bad. What is no, gold flavored? Bad. Really? What's the flavor? Like it's the can? Like gold. you said, it's, it's, like, it's like a red. It bull. tastes like metal. Oh, okay. Like me- like <laughs> gold. Metal, <red> bull. <laughs> it tastes like gold. <laughs> it tastes like the, <laughs> the drinks rusting out from the inside. <laughs> no, I've had that one. I didn't think it was that bad. No, it's good. I don't want to sit there and drink one of the big ass cans. Well, we did. No, we did. We did at seven o'clock. It was. You each did one can. So all you need is one can. Yeah. Yeah. And we were playing drinking games with yeah. you. Well, just you, I guess, it's not drinking Yeah, we were, we were definitely making it a drinking game. Sure. Yeah. Any so game you're drinking it faster than you should have. Mm-hmm. Any game Dude, needs to be terrible. a drinking game. Yeah, That's going to fucking hurt your stomach. Yeah, like it was chugging so one of them things. That's not even all we drank. We played like a couple games of beer ball. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Still, like, chugging beer. Budweiser. Yeah. We drink Budweiser for that. A bunch of 23-year-olds playing beer ball yeah. in the garage. Oh, you know how you that know? is. Yeah. <laughs> with I think what we were drinking, Stella. We were playing beer yeah, ball with Stella. Yeah, Artois. It was just really Stella a bad Budweiser. mixture of drinks. Stella and Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> like they go together perfect. Yeah, middle right. shelf and absolute bottom seller. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, not good. So Stella. yeah, I don't like Stella. Do you miss Colin? You can almost be in this conversation now. It's like we're starting to get older. I'm pushing thirty. These kids are still in their young twenties. Do you miss like that that lifestyle? Like that. I don't Dude, know, that I'm, outlaw, like, just get wasted every night, yeah, drink, I'm, drink I'm, a Four loco. I'm <laughs> finally, and I'm only 26, this shouldn't even yeah. start happening to me yet. But it does, I, but, you're over the hump, you're but, over the 25 hump. But it, is that what they call it? A night of <laughs> drinking, it's a thing. like the depot night, mm-hmm. you're out till, you know, whenever, then you hit another bar. Dude, it takes me like a day and a half yeah. to just get back into it. Like, well, I yeah, all yesterday we were just sitting around the whole day, I know. we didn't do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So and it's you, like, dude, I used to like wake up and crack a beer. Yeah. You know, yeah. and that's probably what you should do. Right. Honestly, that would bring you back to get a you back bit. in the game. I've yeah. never been good at that though because I don't know my stomach's weird. So usually yeah. I'm out if I'm 
if I'm staying out till three, I'm pretty much done the next day. Yeah, yeah we take the next we day day price too. for sure. <laughs> yeah, it was. It's bad. always worth it when you're in it, though. Yeah. When you're doing it, yeah. This is such a good idea. <laughs> and then you wake up, you're like, that was a terrible idea. Dude. <laughs> and then, like, Depot closes at one. Yeah. Let's go to Pies oh, Exactly. Oh, exactly. exactly. Worse. Oh, my God. I hate that place. You guys got any embarrassing Pies on stories? Um, I mean, I think every time we went there, yeah. it was embarrassing enough. <laughs> it's embarrassing yeah. when you walk you're into Pies yeah. You're like, well, I'm at Pies well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't turn back now. Nope. Dude, what's the last? Didn't we take you there one night? And you're like, what am I doing here? For the first time I went. Yeah. Yep. So you've only been there once. I've been there a couple of times. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it was. <laughs> I this don't. Is not... I don't like like going there. Like when people are like, "Yeah, we're gonna go to Pizons." Usually, I try to be like, "All right, well, I'm about to go. I'll home. meet you there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my own car yeah. and then never show up." Yeah, that's normally my. <laughs> yeah, we always end up walking home from Pizons to, to, to which, Tyler's Which house. is that's that's worse. Yeah, is your. Usually, if you're going to Paisons, you're moving yourself further away from your home. Yeah. Like, right. You know, it's never like, closer. Most people don't live like near, like, like that like, side, all of right town. off of State Street or yeah, like that part of yeah. town. Yeah, I've tried to pick up girls there, and I'd be like, "Oh, you want to walk to my house?" <laughs> <laughs> it's only like two yeah. and a half miles. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's, oh, it's, it's I'll give ten you minute walk. Back, right? It's half raining, hour later. It starts raining. raining. That's how you know it's bad if you're picking up girls at Paisons. That's yeah. how you know you should probably just. Well, go home. you got to reevaluate yourself in the morning, and the girl that says yes to you at Paisons. Oh yeah. Ew. Why? Can I ask you that? <laughs> let's just say you don't want to make your. Let's hope you, <laughs> you, let's hope you, you, kick you don't her want her to meet the folks. She's not going to be the one. No, she's not no. going to be the one. <laughs> Where'd you meet your wife? A <laughs> uh, place called Dirty Pizza. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't even call it Paisons. All right, this is I'll not. Just bar and free. Start with a P. Yeah. <laughs> this is not good PR for Paisons. We're not bashing them. Yeah, for sorry. Right. No, we're not. I've had, but, a, but you I've know, had some you good know times what there. you are. Yeah. 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 They are what they are. That they're that bar. Somebody has to be so, that yeah, bar. Somebody has to, they're the Browns. <laughs> I almost snot rocket out of my nose. <laughs> they are the Browns of bars. <laughs> they're the Cleveland but Browns. They, but they, they got like that lovable factor about them. Yeah, like, yeah it's pies. Yeah. You mm-hmm. can't hate too much. Um, so, uh, any any other new shit to talk about? Current events? Current events. Anything weird happened to you guys lately? I wouldn't say weird. Yeah, define weird. Just the normal <laughs> shit. Yeah, no, I think. I Jordan, think how's your good. music going? Let's good. talk about that. Good, let's, man. Let's dive into it. Yeah, mm-hmm. so um, I went back to school, mm-hmm. so I'm back at Finley now for like two more semesters, and that's given me a lot of time to work on my music again. Um, so for people that don't know, maybe my like artist name is Jordy Rob. I've been dropping music, I don't know. For a while now. Yeah, my yeah. first song I did was like freshman year of college, so, like six years ago, but it was kind of just like messing around. Like and, a hobby. Yeah, I think but... within the last year I've started taking it a lot more seriously. But You've been playing a lot of gigs? Or... Um, I did I did one at Shalouks in Fremont. Oh, so okay. Shout out, shout out to Shalouks. Yeah. I did a little half half hour set there. How did um, that go? Just a step above Paisons. It, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I had to make my way up to Shalouks. Maybe one day the depot will book me. Oh, Let's see. But um, That would be sweet. That would be sweet. Who do we happen? talk to? There would yeah, be a any, lot of people there. Yeah, yeah. anybody yeah. out there, I want to do shows Brand in Fremont, so anybody yeah. that wants me to do shows, just why not? Sure. That'll bring a lot of people Absolutely. in, I think. Yeah. And it's yeah. all and it's good, good people too. Yeah. It's yeah. not like we're gonna wreck the place. Yeah, exactly. And then I did one at um, Finley's Dance Marathon this year. They oh asked yeah, me to come do a little set. So that was awesome. Cool. Sound system and everything. Just to get out cool. there, in, yeah. front, in front of people and have fun, have your buddies show up. Exactly. Yeah. The more I, the more you do it, the mm-hmm. better you get. So yeah, that's that's the thing. Talk, at, talk about um, sorry. Talk about uh, <laughs> no. Uh, who you opened for? Oh yeah, so last fall I opened for Jason Derulo. Um, Finley somehow booked Jason Derulo, which is awesome for them. Um, mm-hmm. But then they asked, they reached out and asked me to do an open up. So it was me, um, a singer named Grace, and then Jason went. But that was wild, man. Obviously, the most people that I've ever performed in front. How of. How many people did you perform in front of? So when I went on stage, uh, the number was at like. 2500 so damn yeah man. it was it that's was a pretty wild that's like, a lot of people i looked out the way i came out so they had me like in a, they have everybody in little separate green room sections which nice. i never knew how it worked i'd never done like a big show before that's pretty cool you got your own little room exactly so i go up and they have us all sectioned off like you can see jason's part jason's room was like four times the size oh, of yeah, mine or whatever naturally. they gave me like a little corner and they gave me like some gatorades and stuff and i was like sick dude you were stoked with your gatorades. you should have been like really difficult and been like i asked for only only white smarties in the room. <laughs> <laughs> it was that they literally had things like Jason. I said seedless grapes. <laughs> 
they, they said that at some point they didn't know if Jason was actually going to perform. Oh, he, that would have been like, a bummer. They were like, weren't doing things the right way. Like, oh, people really? were really like that. Yeah. And the girl singer, too, was like, her green room was right next to mine. I was yeah. like, trying to who get was, to know her. Who was this girl? Grace is her name. Was, she's is she's she, from Australia. She lo- oh, so she's oh, not wow. local. No, she's not local. She, yeah, they flew her in. You, um, wow, this she, was legit. Yeah, she had like a, she had a couple songs on the radio. She had one with G Easy. Nice. Um, Good. Yeah, I know who that is. Yeah, but she, she's, she was cool, but like, everybody was very. Timid. Just don't talk to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you're not here to talk to me, don't talk to me. That's I, kinda, thought it was I mean, be, whatever. Uh, but that's just how it is, I guess. I mean, yeah. I guess if you're Regardless. traveling that much. I mean, for if me. you're somebody that's on tour like that, you don't want every Tom, Dick, and Harry come over up and try and be like friends with you. Exactly. Like, All right, I got, yeah. I'm just here to, yeah. to yeah. work, really. Jason's guys were actually really cool, though. They were out playing. We were like in the wreck in Finley, so they were like playing basketball yeah. and stuff against each other. So we were talking to them, and they were super cool. I met Jason for like 30 seconds. It was tight. Did yeah. you get to talk to him? Yeah, he smelled good. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I can remember. I was like, dang. Dan, this, I don't remember what he said, but he smelled yeah. fresh. He was he was super nice. And I didn't understand. He had just stepped off stage like literally five minutes Oh, you before. met him after the show? Yeah, I met him after the show. He had did, just stepped off stage. And he, did he, he smelled he ha- like he was fresh out of the shower. And like yeah. I was like, wow, this is what money does to you. This is crazy. Did he catch your set by any chance? He said he did, but you yeah. know. You know how that goes. Yeah, he was like, I mean, you did a good job. I was like, that means a lot from you, Jason. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you I feel like I can call you Jason. Jason. <laughs> yeah. No, so that was cool. But yeah, that was definitely definitely an experience i think that's when i really started picking up music seriously i bet um, that'll get you going for yeah, sure like fire for sure not yeah. a lot of people get that opportunity to open up for yeah. somebody like that so young in your career exactly mm-hmm. yeah it definitely exposed me to like wow i could probably actually do this you know if yeah. i tried which i because i wasn't putting i was putting effort into it yeah. but it's just not different. maximum though exactly you gotta, you gotta like get your name out there it's all branding exactly yeah. yeah it's that that's that one moment i feel like all people like when they figure out what they want to do for the rest of their lives mm-hmm. they have like one moment that, that epiphany reflect on we're like yep. oh my god this is what i want to do and i think that was it for me so we'll see where it goes dude i'm super proud of you and i yeah, think i, I told you a million that. times yeah. since but absolutely yeah dude, i wish i could have made it but. yeah it was awesome um Definitely want to do it again. That's what, like, I mean, I want to go even do if shows even, even if you're that. not opening for Jason Derulo, exactly. Like, you could, it doesn't I mean, matter, you yeah. could be some mid level guy, or even you could headline some shit. You yeah, know? That's, that's what I mean. I definitely want to be work my way up to be on Jason's level because I know mm-hmm. he was getting paid like a ridiculous amount of money to mm-hmm. go up there and do like what he loves to do. Like, exactly, that's, that's why that's the goal. That's, that's the that's dream. Like, yeah, get paid 50k for a show yeah. to do songs that you made, and like, everybody's awesome. worshiping you. <laughs> yeah, seriously, you should have seen. There was a bunch of 13, 14 year old girls wanting to slob on his knob. Yeah. <laughs> they had to like. They had to like. Illegal. They had to check somebody's ID before she went up on stage because he like pulled a girl on stage. Oh yeah. There, yeah. Was, there was even a bunch of people coming up to you after and like. Yeah, dude. Like little girls. Dude, you had groupies. I dude, never. A lot. I said, There's a lot I of never, people coming up to him like saying, "Oh, I love your song." Dude, like, that's badass, that man. Awesome. Yeah, it was cool. People were like buying shirts. Did you have some merch? To, like, yeah, I had sweet. some merch. So, uh, people from the Browns. Shout out to Corey Kinder and Megan and Shelby. They were all there helping me like Great. distribute merch and stuff. How cool, man! Awesome. That's sweet. So that's definitely in the works too I think merch once you do shows like you kind of have to have merch and it gives people a reason to come up to you and like talk yeah. to you afterwards but yeah it was just a bunch of like 13 and 14 year old girls I'd never, <laughs> I'd, hey I'd that's where you start that's that's no start. that's cool yeah. that's like yeah. a cult fan base right? it is right? you know what I mean that's the those strongest. are the crazy fans they'll stick with you through anything exactly yeah. he didn't yeah. mean to murder anybody <laughs> They got your name <laughs> tattooed on their chest, dude. Yeah, it was it was wild though. No, it was real uh, real quick. So anybody that's listening that wants to hear your music, why don't you tell them where they can find it? Yeah, so right now my music's uh, just on SoundCloud. So if you just search Jordy Rob, so it's J R D I E R O B um, on SoundCloud, you'll see a bunch of my stuff. My newest project's called No Parking. Um, I think that's my best work yet. It's really uh, good. Yeah, I'm finally starting, it finally starting to get comfortable with my sound and mm-hmm. uh, kind of the direction I want to take my music. But um, within the next like I would say month. We're going to have a lot of my songs on Spotify and iTunes. Um, so awesome. like you can get on Apple awesome. Music. Whatever. That's great because awesome. that's what all the, you know, that's a great platform to have it all like streaming and shit like exactly. that. Exactly. Really. And that's how you get like placements. Like you got to, if you get a placement for anything, you know what I mean? Even if it's like an internet commercial or an internet ad or if you randomly get put like an independent movie, like that's when mm-hmm. your stuff can really start to blow up. So you need to be able to have like those publishing rights. Exactly. To, yep. to get your songs yeah. out there. So where do you record? Do you re- mainly record your own material and yeah. produce your own stuff? Or? Yeah. Actually, um, I still started with like a $50 mic like you know how it is like, oh yeah started with like a $50 mic Been doing some, this for a while yeah some little, <laughs> some little beats headphones and like uh just it was just a USB mic and did it in my room um and I still do that to this day like I upgraded my 
um, stuff just a little bit because yeah. I mean, you have to once because you you're getting a little more point. serious about it. You want the sound quality to be it, yeah, manageable exactly. for the listeners. Yeah, so I just record in my apartment in Finley, and uh, I do obviously I work with like internet producers for the beats, but mm-hmm. I do all the like tracking and mixing and mastering myself. Yeah, so. that's and that's that's part of it. It's it's yeah, part of being yeah. a mu- musician is recording and producing. Yeah, I mean if you're a good one, <laughs> yeah. it's it's fun to like mess around, tinker yeah. around with your own settings and stuff. Exactly. That was. Yeah. Probably my favorite part about being in a band was recording and like seeing how the process is done. It's really neat. It's yeah. amazing how well it turns out. Yeah, exactly. And I, I'm finally starting to figure out what I like, what I'm doing. I had no idea what I was doing when I started. Just like pressing buttons. Yeah, we went. And me and Tyler were listening uh, to songs like old songs that I did. Uh-huh. And I was like, wow, I was really bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you thought it was like the but best. Thought, yeah. Oh my God, every, like everything you make, you're like, wow, this is the best thing ever. And then I look back like three years later, I'm like, yeah. like I literally would And that's when you can tell like the progress you've made. Exactly. I was going to say, yeah. 10 years from now, hopefully you're saying that about the stuff you're doing, the stuff you're doing now, even yeah. though it's awesome. Yeah. 10 years from now, you look back, you'd be like, dude, that was bad. Well, look where I'm at now. Exactly. Yeah. 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 No, that's, that's progression right there. That's yeah. the goal. And it's finest. Yeah. That's the goal. It's crazy how much better you can get at something once you put the work in to it. You know what I mean? It takes time, just mm-hmm. like anything. Of course, it takes a lot of time. Perseverance. YouTube videos mainly is yeah. what have helped me. But yeah. no motivation, no breathing. <laughs> so when you're uh, when you're writing a new song, how do you do that process? Do you think of like something you want to write about, or or sometimes you like freestyling and then something comes out of that? Or yeah, yeah. So mainly what I've been doing, um, usually like if I hear if I'm looking for beats or whatever, or somebody sends me one. I'll play it for the first time, and I'll just listen to it once time through, and then I'll flip my mic on, and mm-hmm. I'll just start, like, punching in, like, melodies. So I just won't say words. Like, right. it'll be gibberish. But right. Like, I'll be like, oh, this is how I want it to sound. But you right. get the rhythms and, and the melody in. sound. Yeah, exactly. And then I just, like, I'll listen to the melodies kind of once or twice, and then I'll start punching in words from there. So mostly it's, like, a freestyle process. Usually what helps is... But it starts with the beat normally? Yeah, it starts with a beat, because I feel like that's what sets the mood for the entire song. Sure, yeah, um, that's true. And usually alcohol is a pretty good, you know, influencer of yeah. my music. Enabler. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we would just sit, me and Tyler would just that sit there. producer and, over here. Exactly. <laughs> I would just sit there and be like... The one night when we made one of my favorite songs is Brown Brown and 03. Oh, dude, I love that song. And the night that we made that, Tyler just ran. We didn't have anything planned out. Tyler came over on a Friday and he takes out this brown paper bag and like reveals a bottle of Ciroc. And he was like, Yep, yeah. we're drinking this tonight. Oh, my <laughs> God. What <laughs> kind was, of Ciroc was it? I think it was Peach. Peach, yeah. Oh, okay. Peach and Sprite. Dude, I like Ciroc. It is. Wait, who makes that? Doesn't like some rapper make that? Uh, Diddy. Diddy, 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 Diddy right? that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's why we first started drinking it. You ever have Ciroc, yeah. Con? I've never had Ciroc. It's actually really, really good. You really have never had it? Ciroc. I don't even like, know what it is. Is it vodka? It's vodka. Yeah, it's like, I miss it with Sprite. It's really good. It's the best vodka. Yeah, they have like, they have a bunch of flavors now. Like coconut, they have pineapple. We were just there yesterday. Green apple. Green apple. Oh, green apple's pretty good. Original. <laughs> the original. Yeah, the blue, vodka the flavored. Blue Alcohol dot. flavored. <laughs> <laughs> the blue dot is good. But yeah, no, that's we drank that whole bottle pretty much and then just made that song yeah. like in one night. Because it, it can happen. It just depends yeah. on like your creative process. You got to be in the mood. Yeah, now I'm trying to um, like kind of conceptualize it a little bit more since I'm taking it serious. Like um, I think in the spring I want to do like another project, but I want it to be like when you play it from front to back, have it be one long movie. So Got like it. It, it all kind of makes sense and you go through stages. You want it to like be like corresponding. Does. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So I think I'm going to start more like more like how people start writing movies. So mm-hmm. we're going to have like a vision board or like a creative board and then you just kind of go from song one to song Look at awesome. you. Dude, that, that is awesome. Look yeah, at you, Big Shot. It's a better way. I actually, <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah, I was inspired by Have you guys seen that like I'm Not Racist video? Uh, like yeah, yeah, video? yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. So have the, you? I don't think so. It's pretty. First of all, it's crazy if you haven't seen it. I, I saw the. I don't know anything about it. Like who wrote the words? Yeah, or anything, it's like a. But. It's like a white. It's like a. It's like a white guy and a black guy are sitting across from each other mm-hmm. at the table, and they're like, "It's a song. It's like a. Mm-hmm. It's like a hip hop song or whatever." But they're like talking and talking like, to each other. They're like talking about like how they feel about each other's like race it's really crazy it's, it's like super shock it's factor. super racist if you it's yeah. super, is it? dude, i listened to like one <laughs> minute of it they're I'm just like, telling true feelings it's about wild. and then i had like, to go yeah, back it, yeah and, and it was like it was like yeah you have to listen to it's like a six minute song first yeah. of all i thought like, it was gonna be like wild. but it starts off with a, it starts off with, turn it dude off. yeah it starts it's off with a white guy talking like talking shit about black people like super racist like really yeah dropping all the sensitive words and i'm like i'm like look at this guy bring us all down yeah like i'm not like that like this is not me no no but then like it retorts and then they end up like hugging at the end. But the guy that wrote that is. Oh, like, see, I didn't see the end. Yeah, you gotta watch it because it switches back. You yeah. can shut it off. Right yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was pissed. But, but that whole that whole video, I watched because I was really like super interested. I was like, why would he even like make a song like this? You know what I mean? But he like talked about how he writes the music videos before he even writes the song. His name's Joiner oh, Lucas. Yeah, and he's like one of the best at like 
visuals. So I was like, all right, yeah, that's probably a good idea, actually. To, mm-hmm. If you're going to do visuals, why not have it in, in mind, like, what you want to write about before why not? you start? So, why not? Yeah, it's a combination of the two, I guess. Like, sure. Sometimes I just start drinking, and I'm like, yeah, I really feel like making songs right now. Yeah. So I just do it, but no. Is there a way that you think, like, the final product comes out better, or doesn't it matter? Um. I think if it's not forced, yeah. like that's uh, usually the quicker I write a song, the right. better it is. It's probably like the same as like like uh, trying to be like an author or something. Like if you have to get something mm-hmm. written, yeah. like you can't. If you like, got that, yeah. pressure, you got nothing. Yeah, that's you know? why. Like I don't like. I shouldn't have. I don't like making release dates like for music and be like, hey, I'm gonna have a song out next week. Right. Because that that puts the pressure on. Right. You to that's exactly what we out. just said. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want that. Pr- you don't unneeded want the, pressure. Exactly. Right. You want to be able to take your time with it or yeah. not take your time. You know what I mean? If that's you, why. Yeah. Like a lot of the day. a lot of the bands I like, um, like some bands put out like an album a year or you know something yeah. like that, and right. it's always you can like count on it. Like the ones I listen to don't put out like an album for like three or four years mm-hmm. because they're like, hey, this isn't like what we have right now isn't good enough to put out. Right. You know, it would probably appease mm-hmm. people for right now, but we don't even want to go around and tour this stuff. You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they no. don't even like right, their own right, stuff. They're like, right. yeah, let's so, take a little more time. On the one hand, like you appreciate. Well, like, on the one hand, you want to hear new music all the time. Right. But on the other hand, you're like, you know, I would rather it be way better, you know, and I'll wait for exactly. it. Exactly, yeah. You know, in yeah. the long run, it's better, I think. Yeah. yeah. That's what, how do you guys feel about Kanye West? Um, See, I, don't I don't listen to him anymore. I, I really love his old shit, which is basically what everybody says. Right, yeah. So I am very in the middle of that. Yeah, that's what, I really like him just as, like, a, I feel like you have to separate the artist from the person, or, like, the artist from the person. Yeah, you're right. Talking about Kanye, but even, like, his creative process he'll make like they'll say he'll make like 50 versions of one song and then he'll have wow. like he'll have like madonna was supposed to be on his album uh-huh. like chance the rapper was supposed to be on it a bunch like but he has all these different versions of songs and then he'll just no can you take that too far that's i, I think, think he, he might be taking it too far he, he's one of those mm-hmm. pers- people that is so like creative and yeah Kind of mentally, maybe mentally unstable. I don't know. Um, kind of, Kanye, don't be mad at me. I think he <laughs> just threw shade at Kanye. No, no, I no, think no, no. he's just one of those guys that he's too creative for his own good. You know yeah. what I mean? And he just like, he's always thinking he can so many ideas. It, right? he drives himself crazy right. Right. with it, which I don't want to become that. So it's usually where the alcohol will help. I, mean, I don't think he drinks yeah. enough. There's got to be a point where you're like, hey, <laughs> this is really good. You know, that's what we need. Maybe time to work on something else or whatever. Exactly. Yeah, but. No, that's pretty much uh, the, st- the the way I want to go about my creative process for now. Like, taking my time, mm-hmm. but at the same time, you have to drop content. Like, the internet is very unforgiving if you don't drop content when you're trying to come up. That's the thing about, like, artists that are established. Dude, even we're time. getting backlash. Like, people are, like, waiting for your next one. I'm like, hey, we just <laughs> really? do this once a month or whenever we yeah, feel like right. it. And then people are like, well, if you put one out every week, you that's know, right. you'll start gaining more of a following. But it's like, dude... We're not. We're, that's right. not what we do right now. Right. And, and yeah. for an artist, two days even, off a week, you know, yeah. we still have jobs. We, you know, yeah. we, we got families. We got yeah. We got to masturbate. Yeah. We got things to do. It'd be, different if, we were a couple <laughs> times. It'd be different if we were getting paid for this. Then it'd be a hell of a lot better, probably. Right. Right. But, right. have to do, so. Yeah. If they want to, put, if everybody wants to start paying for the advertisements on the show. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. If we had a group of comedy writers in the back or whatever, yeah. you know, like a lot of shows do. Exactly. No, this is all just us. Whatever we feel like. Us, like us and our guests. The glass pushing a button. <laughs> See, Tyler. <laughs> Tyler is so producer right now. He's he doesn't even have a normal mic stand. It's like. It's like a stand-up. It's an actual mic stand. And yeah. He, has a, he could do some stand-up comedy right now if he wanted to. <laughs> he could. He's got no headphones. He's just like so far away from us. Miss you. Yeah, I'm an outlaw over here, but it's all right. Tyler, I miss you. I miss you. How's it over there? Why are you so far? <laughs> Come closer. <laughs> oh, man. Just kidding. All right. But, um, yeah, with all this talk about Jordy, um, I'll let you guys listen. We're going to plug in one of his songs here if you mm-hmm. want to. We'll take a little intermission. Dude, do you oh, not like Jesus. the drink I made for you? <laughs> He's been talking the whole time. He has been talking. I'm going to chug this. All right, you better chug that. All right, we're going to play one of Jordan's songs here. Um, do you have an idea which one you want to play? Um, Yeah, this is probably my favorite song. We'll play this song called Dakota. Okay. And it's about a girl that doesn't really exist, but it's about being trashed at a party and hoping that you see her. So I like oh, that. Nice. I like that. That Every, sounds familiar. I feel like everybody can relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've done that before. <laughs> All right, um, check out this song, and we'll be back after the song. A little. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe you showed up. 
You just pulled up, came in the party, now you draped all on my shoulder. I got the vodka poured up with the soda. You the coldest, think your name should be Dakota. And if you got a problem, better fall back. I'ma add you to the cast, don't you think you are that? Never stressing if you call me and I don't call back. Treat the party like a business, dressed in all black. And there ain't nothing wrong with you. But I could write some wrongs with you, I could write a song with you Let it be a smash hit, beat by DJ Khaled Everybody singing, even have your mom and dad lit and We can be big in a couple of days, take off Up and away, take off Don't play it safe, don't play it safe There's nothing to change, people are talk and fuck what they say 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 All on my shoulder I got the vodka poured up With the soda You the coldest Think your name should be Dakota And if you got a problem Better fall back I'ma add you to the cast Don't you think you are that Never stressing if you call me And I don't call back Treat the party like a business Dressed in all black All black And you love it Yeah you love it Out in public We hug it And that's alright with you I might spend the whole night with you I might dress in all white with you I just wanna know if you feel me The way I'm feeling you Name anything I'll do Push pride away, come through Showed up, you just pulled up, came in the party, now you draped all on my shoulder. I got the vodka poured up with the soda. You the coldest, think your name should be Dakota. And if you got a problem, better fall back. I'ma add you to the cast, don't you think you are that? Never stressing if you call me and I don't call back. Treat the party like a business, dressed in all black. Okay, so I thought Jordan said that he got his car stolen in Florida. So did I. But he said his car dead. Card. Card. <laughs> Renunciate. Card. Card. Yeah. That, okay, let's hear the story. That to, yeah, that happened to me last night. Somebody was freaking out. I was like, dude, it was just my card. And they're like, oh, your card. No. So oh, okay. I, went, I went to Florida to visit my family because all my family lives down in Florida now. Mm-hmm. Um, Did you guys have a good time? Yeah, a really good time. 80 degrees every day. Excellent. And I touched down here. It was five degrees. It was, Sad. Woo. It's fucking sub-zero out right now. Literally so, t- t- like, literally so terrible. It feels like negative what? Time? And speaking of his car, it doesn't have heat. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh my god! Hey, I've been there. That shit sucks. Dude, yeah. we drove around last night and didn't have heat. We don't. I don't have defrost and I don't have a scraper. Pretty much the three things. Jeez, that you should, dude! Yeah. How, what are you? Are you Ace Venturing it? I, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't. We had to pull over in St. Joe's parking lot, and people thought that we were robbing cars. So I'm pretty sure <laughs> because we were just sitting in there, and I was like, we had a towel. You still got trying the caddy? To oh yeah. Okay. Still got the caddy. Caddy's cool, but yeah. everything else about it. Not the that name's cool. dope. It is cool. Yeah, it's, it's nice. roomy. It's nice saying that I drive a caddy until you actually like get in the car with me. And, and <laughs> nothing re- works. And realize, yeah, literally nothing works. It's bad. Um, <laughs> but anyway, oh, bought my card. Uh, yeah, so I went to Florida, and the first night I was there, I went and met with my roommate that I used to live with in college. He lives down there now, and mm-hmm. he like plays golf for a living or something. It's pretty cool. But yeah, we went to the bar and got super trash. Started taking tequila shots, and we switched bars at some point. I still had my card at this at this time, and I bought another shot, and I'm pretty sure they put my card down, like, on the table, and somebody, like, scooped it up, so. Ooh, sketch. Yeah, didn't realize till two days later. Oh, shit. When I get a text from, like, you didn't, your bank. My two days later? Company, and they were like, uh, your account has been overdrawn. Oh, no. And I was like, oh, somebody was, like, was dude, fucking using it? Yeah, I was like, what? What do you mean? So, like, they were like, is this you? Because it, it came up that it was in Florida. So yeah. Like, it's like a fraud detection. Right, they got to call you if something's So, weird. yeah, I had to call them and tell them that 
Um, like I lost my card, but it's really funny that they stole my card and tried to use like a, it was like a $30 purchase and they overdrew my card. <laughs> oh. I'm thinking all this money yeah. was out the window. <laughs> no, no. I'm like, what's your bucks. limit? Like five grand? I had like no money on this card, dude. Like no money on this card. And they stole Overdrawn. it. And they dude, stole Dude, that it. person would be like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, this broke boy. Why, like, why did we steal this kid's card? Yeah. They should have known I wonder what, what did he try to buy? Um, or, I don't know. I he or it she. Was, it might have been like a makeup like store. So, so maybe a she. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was some kind of Italian name. Do you mean the profile? Yeah. yeah Couldn't no. they figure out who did it though? Oh, that's what I was thinking. Shouldn't there be like some? I mean, I track think that's it? enough punishment. <laughs> Trying to use a yeah, card. But yeah, it, it get, almost getting punishment. somebody's yeah. card that you <laughs> stole it declined. Yeah. declined and not because it was canceled. Or I, something. Hope they, <laughs> I hope that changed their life. I hope they like look. Yeah. But if it's a like, girl yeah. trying to use your card, is well, I guess Jordan is like a yeah. unisex well, name. Well, a lot of people don't ask for ID. Or, I've bought shit with Briley's card before. True. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like go to Kroger or something. Oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember uh, Wendy's in Fremont used to ID. You'd give them a card and be like, what? can I see an ID? Yeah, at the I'm fucking like, drive thru like, I just bought $7 worth of food. You're going to ID <laughs> my <laughs> card? I'm giving stop you money. Bitch. <laughs> stop, stop, stop off, bitch. Stop off, bitch. It's pretty messed up. Oh, I've had that happen uh, where my shit's been compromised because yeah. fraud detection agency, you know, putting your number in online or whatever, yeah. and some, some hack happens. And uh, I've had money taken. No, no more than like seventy bucks, I think. Yeah, never got it back. You don't see, that's what sucks. I didn't get it back. No, I wonder if they'll give what? it. Back. And then after that, like, um, what are they good for? I think then they monitor your stuff a lot closer. Right. So, like, we go to Windsor, you know, every year yeah, or whatever. Yeah. And every right. time I try to go up there and use my card, it declines. Yeah. Well, you got to you got to call the bank and let right. them know you're going. Right. Because that I, ha- didn't, I didn't used to have to. That, do that happened though. to me when we went to Florida. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's pretty like, dumb though. Like yeah. it is dumb. You but can't just travel. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I called them before we went out to Arizona last year. Right. I was like, hey, you know, I'll probably spend. You'll probably see, you know, up to like I don't know, a bunch of money going up in <laughs> Arizona. <laughs> don't say. I'm going to be gambling as, as long as it's in Phoenix, Scott De- Scottsdale area. It's probably pretty cool. Right. You know, if it's in Flagstaff, give me a call because <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> Oh, and if you happen to see a Vegas charge, let it go. Because you never know. Yeah, you never know where I'm going to end up. I'm on the west side. Hey, did you know we almost got hit by an asteroid on Christmas? What? Did you guys hear about that? No. no. I think you, I told you Colin me. Like yeah. you as in just you? Or yeah, just, just you. Or... <laughs> <laughs> no. Did you know I almost got hit by an asteroid? <laughs> well, I mean, I, possibly, but... <laughs> No, there was Dude, a... wouldn't that suck if an asteroid... <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, no. Just like a human-sized asteroid <laughs> coming right for your face. <laughs> no, they... Uh, NASA... Or I think, it was, obviously, NASA de- detected... A, it was like a near-miss. It The asteroid came, like, within the moon's distance. So it was, like, that close. It was the size of a bus. It was less than the so, distance of the moon away from us. Right. Is Did for, anybody see la- it? Lack of better like, you terms. You should be able to see they, it, right? They didn't detect it. Until it was like four hours, four hours until it passed us. So not a lot of time. So no. Yeah, so we even about that. what are they doing no. over there? They didn't see that until four hours. I don't know. Sleeping on the job. Holiday right. holiday party. Yeah, <laughs> it was Christmas, so maybe they didn't have their best men on duty. <laughs> they brought Maybe's in the temps. <laughs> NASA brought in the temps for, for Christmas. No, but if it would have hit Earth, it just would have probably hit the ocean most likely. Yeah, that's, and that's it was the only the size yeah. of a bus. But there was a similar one that hit Russia in 2013, and it it said that it injured a, a thousand people. I don't know if anybody what? died, but yeah, that's nuts. Yeah, but. That would have been a nice. Christmas I mean, the present. impact of that, even if it's the size of a bus, yeah, the that's impact a big ass. It has to have. Dude, that's Co- be coming f- in at that that yeah. speed. They said it was like you think of a plane going down or whatever. You know, it's tw- like, it was like twenty, and it was twenty one thousand miles per hour. Yeah, dude, that is nuts. What? Yeah, like, you check it out. Look it up on Google it sometimes. It yeah, it's interesting. It's weird. It's just weird. Space is weird. Space is weird. How are you guys' second drinks treating you? Just, just as good as, good as the first. Ooh. I think my suck out you producer over there. I'm going to give you a spanking. (laughs) (laughs) It's because I don't have headphones. I can't hear anything. Uh, Tyler, we need you. I want you to produce every show, but you have to have have that microphone. Even if this one's open, (laughs) you've got to use that one. You've got to put my name on it or something. Producer Tyler. We're going to have to add you to the opening. And produced by? And produced by? (laughs) Tyler Wolf. (laughs) <laughs> or however that guy sounds. Yeah, well, that was pretty good. Whoever does our opening, I thought it was you. No, I, everyone thinks it's me, but I, I paid a guy to do that. You paid a guy? Yeah, ten nice. bucks. 
Ten, <laughs> it's the, worth ten bucks. The internet's yeah. worth it. Absolutely. The internet's great. That is pretty great. But I could have just did it for free. Nah, you could have. Nah, that sounds cool. We can't be bothered with that kind of stuff. Yeah, I got, we're high maintenance. I got business to attend. <laughs> so, are you guys gonna get lit tonight? It's New Year's Eve, dude. Yeah, I did. don't know if I want to yet. We do a bottle. I exchange, thought I did. So everybody gets a bottle, and then you just do yeah. like a white elephant type deal, and then oh, that's cool. oh, you guys have a little ceremony. Bottle. Yeah, this yeah. is our. You guys gonna take some Ciroc? <laughs> Why Probably. do you say it? Like, hopefully somebody got. Why it. I didn't get it because it's a rock. Yeah. you know some of that Ciroc. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking so white right now. Yes, Ciroc. Some of that Ciroc. <laughs> let let me get some of that Ciroc, yo. <laughs> That shit is fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You just heard my like cold yeah. laugh. Oh like that was god. good. That was terrible. Sorry. If that. Oh man. No, we've been doing that exchange <clears throat> for like six years. Yeah. And every years. year it does not end well because everybody gets where, a bottle. Where winter. do you go? Well, we usually do it at Trent's house. Yeah. But we're going to heaven's. Like there, so uh, we're going to heaven's. Excuse me. Yeah, we're going to heaven's house, but it's just terrible because some people will buy good stuff, mm-hmm. and then I think I, last year I got. I got some Canadian. Is there, I, got, I got Woodford's Reserve. Ooh, that's Woodford's good whiskey. I got, that's which is good, great whiskey. But not something you want to drink all night. No, that's, that's, that's something you want to sip on. That's, it's not, that's not, something you want to sip on. Not good, like yeah. if you're a guy that does it dry or like, like, like on the rocks. On the rocks. If you're like a 65 year old male, yeah. that's what you drink. Somebody hit me with the wild you turkey one year. Oh, yeah, he got, no, so you don't spice. want to be drinking that all night. <laughs> he had wild, wild turkey spice. Spice is actually better than the. Oh, I would think so. I'd imagine. It doesn't get much worse than the regular. No. No. Oh, my God. Dude, just thinking about it makes me want to. Toss my cookies. Be like uh, Michael Scott when he takes a drink of some whiskey. <laughs> you got any Splenda? <laughs> <laughs> got any sweetener? Any Splenda? Oh, uh, got any cream? What are you guys doing tonight? See, I'm split. I don't know yet. I might, I might hang out with Colin tonight, or I might hang out with my uh, my other buddies. Yeah. I'm not sure. Nice. We go to Brad's every year. He has a yeah. party, so that's where we'll be for the whole night. So whatever yeah. I end up doing is who I love more. We, <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. Tori, what are we doing? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we still don't know. I'll close my eyes and take me over the line. It's, it's uh, actually kind of a cool thing. Um, the Ronskis, um, friends of ours, uh, they have this big wheel. Yeah. Kind of like you see at a casino. Right. You know, not, like a, not like a roulette wheel. It's a vertical. Right. So you spin it. Kind of like like the Price is Right or yeah, whatever. Right. <laughs> no, yeah. And, uh, I, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> so no, but it's cool because uh, we've gambled on it a couple times now, and it's like the funnest thing. What do the things say? Um, what it is is each spot has three dice on it. Mm-hmm. So if you spin it and you show a one, a three, and a five, you say whoever bet you have like a sheet in front of you with all the dice. Laid out. Yeah. So if you bet a one, a three, and a five, you get paid on all of those dice. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's something different. Usually we play like street craps or something, so but it, this is kind of cool. It's kind of like roulette more. Kind of. Yeah. 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 And it's a lot easier for everybody to play. So yeah. Don't take too much skill. No. No school. No skill at all. Right. That's interesting. It's all luck. Do you guys bring like ones or are you guys put well, tens down or twenties? No, you, you bring like twenty dollar bill or whatever mm-hmm. or a couple twenties, depending on how much you want to spend. But then you get one dollar chips. Okay. Yeah, and then you pay out from the pot that everybody bought in. Interesting. Jordan, you ever go to casino? Any casinos yeah. before? You when ever we, gamble, dude? Every time, yeah. every time that the bars would get out when me and Tyler lived in Cleveland, we went to the casino, <laughs> which is every the time. worst. I, got, I didn't even get to go in one time. Kick me out before I got he in. Did. <laughs> nice. He did. Nice. That's tough to do. That's no, tough. No, to do. I was Something. too drunk apparently. Dude, this. Oh, but then yeah. I met yeah. up with this other dude, and he's like, "I can get you in through the back." So and I got to the back. Dude, this kid. Oh, like the other entrance. Yeah. Yeah. Tyler gets lost more than anybody that I've ever met. My entire life, he gets loses. I, can see that. I was gonna say, gets lost and loses both. <laughs> both. Well, the reason, that, so he gets kicked out of the casino. We don't even know he was too. He was literally wasted, like stumbling into this place. So we didn't know that he didn't get in because he was behind us. Mm-hmm. So we go to the bathroom. We're like, "Where's Tyler?" <laughs> Obviously, nobody knows where he's at. And I'm like, I think oh, that's going, this and, is about and he right. never answers his fucking phone. I don't think I had at this point, because yeah. he lost his phone. Because he lost it. <laughs> literally, the, literally the weekend before, he lost uh, his phone. Left in the Uber in Cleveland. <laughs> so I was like, "Dude, just." Give me some time. I bet I can find this kid. Oh, I was God. like, I've been through this enough times. So we walk outside the casino, go all the way around it, nowhere to be found. Mm-hmm. I was like, I bet he found his way in. We walk upstairs. I was like, I have a feeling he's going to be at the blackjack table. And he's sitting at the blackjack table. Oh, no, wow. no, no chips, nothing. He's just, <laughs> <laughs> he's just watching, not playing. He just sat down. I, was like, I need to learn something. 
Oh my that god. Is my name is Richie Cunningham. <laughs> yeah. And this is my wife Oprah. <laughs> you have five, sir. I'll stay. I'll stay. <laughs> Danger's mine. I suggest man. you hit, sir. <laughs> Dude, I, I remember <laughs> when you lost your phone. How pissed off Dad was because Dad got him that phone for, for Christmas, Christmas. Oh, like yeah. and he goes, he goes, yeah, later. he was probably fucking wearing gym shorts in the back of a cab. If the kid would buy a fucking pair of jeans, <laughs> <laughs> he's blaming it on your fucking clothes. <laughs> Maybe his phone wouldn't always fall the fuck out. <laughs> hey, I'd be equally pissed if I bought if I you know yeah, yeah, yeah bought a phone for somebody and they lost it two months later. <laughs> Literally, I don't understand yeah, how he yeah, does it, dude. Yeah, either. <laughs> it just happens. Yeah, it just happens. I guess. I just picked up his phone at the bar the other day. Like the other time we went to the bar, he just sat on the bar and walked away. Like, Dude, come on, it'll I picked be there it when up, I get back. Picked it up and put it in my pocket. I was like, "What is wrong with you? Oh, you have God. issues." But hey, that's my best friend. <laughs> hey, that's, that's why we love. That's why we know you. <laughs> that's why we love you, <laughs> and we hate you. <laughs> that's why I'll take that. that. Yeah, that works. A little night at the Roxbury. Ooh. Little throwback, little little quote. Oh, speaking of that, I was gonna do just something stupid because we always do some stupid game. Let's hear some stupid. Um, yes, a throwback game, one that's pretty common. But uh, dude, we're gonna do a game right now. Well, kinda. Yes. yes um, let's do, do your it. best whistle. Just a little. Uh, no, I was <laughs> thinking a, a little, <laughs> just to gauge uh, what kind of different interests we have at the table here. Like I'm a, scared. Like a like a desert island. Uh, Ooh, okay. Movies. So like, <laughs> okay. Ooh. You got to go spend the rest of your life. On a desert island, what five movies are you taking with you? Oh, five movies. I'm not much of a movie watcher, but. All right, so Tyler's not taking still, any. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get any. Yeah, Tyler's just going to sit only there. Get... <laughs> <laughs> Bored. Tyler's going to dig sand. I feel like I want to take movies that like blow my mind. And then, like, I but keep... you need to you need, I need to, take you need to at think least one this the rest movie. of your life. Yeah, this is hard. Oh, damn. I think, I think what, I already... Ones that you can tolerate. Can over we and narrow over it again. down to like three? Because five's a lot. I think I have four right. already, maybe. Oh, you have four? I think so. All right, well, you go first because I'm. All right, well, in no particular order. Right. Dumb, dumb and Dumber. Yes. Oh, that's I think that's in everybody's. That's in this table, I think it's That's in my arsenal. Dumb and Dumber's great. Um, the Butterfly Effect. That's a good one. Ashton Kutcher. I enjoy that I never movie. saw that one. It's what? good. I've never seen it. You've never seen no, that? I know what it is, but I've never it's, uh, yeah, watched it. It's dude, good. It's got, uh, it's got Fulton Reed in it from Mighty Ducks, whatever his oh, role is. Oh, shit. So you better get on it. <laughs> so, I mean, that's a huge, yeah, huge role. Um, Donnie Darko. You guys have ever I, seen I, I like Donnie Disney. Darko with uh, Jake Gyllenhaal? Jake Gyllenhaal, right? yep. Right? Yeah, it's good. Really just trippy movie. Mm-hmm. I, I enjoy that a lot. I like Jake Gyllenhaal a lot. Um. Let's see. V for Vendetta. Dude, that movie's badass. I've seen that a couple of times. It's a great. That's my yeah. four. You might have to give me a little bit. Dude, time you're, on the five. I, I don't even know if I have one. V for Vendetta right is, is great, though. You got Dumb and Dumber? Yeah, I got Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> Dumb and All right, Dumber. let's see. Dumb and Dumber. Um, Colin? <laughs> Come back to me. Yeah, because because I asked. Obviously, I have five. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, you've thought about this. Uh, Dumb and Dumber, for sure. Um, probably The Departed. Um, the Shawshank Redemption. I nice. can watch that movie. Over and over, nice. not sick of it. Um, Fargo, and probably. Ooh, yeah. See, I don't know what's fifth one either. It's hard. That's Man. the last. That's the yeah, last. That spot. last one is yeah. See, do I go like good movies, right? Or do I go like comedy, nostalgic and, with or, it? Yeah. I don't know. Okay, you guys are gonna make fun of me. Joe Dirt might be in there. Wow. <laughs> Ooh. Just for like okay. comedy's sake. The second one was yeah, terrible. You definitely seen comedy. Anybody yeah, seen, that's the second seen one. Joe Dirt too. I watched. Oh, dropped, I've never seen Joe Dirt. Who dropped too. the ball on that one? I'm I watched you the out. first who, ten what, minutes. What went wrong? And I shut it off. It's, what it's, what it's, went wrong? It's so bad. He like time travels. Okay, that's that's where they went wrong. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> it's the dumbest thing. The second one. How no. dare they? Re- I mean, they should. A lot of oh, movies are ruined by a second one. I'm putting Home Alone in one. Which one? Number two. Number two. Can they count He's taking one? both home alone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, take all four. You got you got your list. Take the trilogy. That's, 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 that's mine. That's mine. <laughs> oh, there's four all of them. Four, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's like I think there might you be like five. Three is actually not that bad. You like that movie yeah, that much? Wasn't that good. I love Home Alone. I love oh, home, home Alone's alone. great, but Home Alone three though. <laughs> oh, I, I don't yeah. remember that one. Which one's the one where he gets? I don't know the difference between them. I don't think they go to New York in the second one, and then okay, the first I one like he just Home stays Alone home. Two. Home Alone Two is my favorite in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. one's that my one's favorite. badass. Yeah, that one's cool. That's Joe. Just Joe Pesci and all of them. Oh hell yeah! Just, well, in the first two. First, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. the up. OGs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Joe Pesci. I was telling huge uh, Joe Pesci fan. I love Joe Pesci. I was telling <laughs> these guys uh, earlier that uh, in Home Alone, you know how he's always like. 
Yeah. <laughs> fight ya, fight ya, fight ya, fight ya, fight ya, fight ya, fight ya. I'm trying to He's, show him. He said he, he, he said he did that like gibberish because like the situation and like Joe Pesci being Joe Pesci, he wanted to cuss. And he, but he so could, because he was like a family in, into movie, the anger. and so right. instead of cussing, he, instead of motherfucking piece of shit, you know, he'd be like, fetch it, fetch it, fetch it, fetch it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anybody do that in any other movie. No, fetch it, fetch it, It's so it's like goofy, a fucking bitch, and it's awesome. It's so and goofy. Yeah. Dude, I think that's where Young Thug actually gets like his inspiration from. If anybody's ever listened to oh, Young, Young Thug, is he still around? Oh, dude, he was yeah. huge he, last year. He's huge still. Or two years ago, he's like the Michael Jackson of hip hop. Literally, I haven't heard it. Which is crazy. He like he's all ad libs. He doesn't, he doesn't speak words. Like no, he's just, really? yeah, you should listen. Like, so much charisma that it makes him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he literally. I seen an interview where he was like, "Yeah, I don't really care about the words I say. I care about how I say it." I really? Was like, what? He was like, "Yeah." It's, he was like, Damn. "That's what I do." That's I like, like some that's alien. Shit. He just literally doesn't wow. say words. He just that's why makes he's sounds. interesting. Really? Because it's you just crazy. don't know what's going through his mind at all. So yeah. do you guys dig that mumble rap shit? The, I hit it in my head to beat it. How does that go? <laughs> it's like I did it. What? <laughs> I don't know. It, what are you saying? I don't know. I don't know. It's all right. It's there's a different. I don't know. I kind of yeah. I like the the bounce to it. Yeah, that's why you but, listen to it. But it drives me makes, nuts. Yeah, you oh, don't, yeah they like, don't say anything. Ah, I do. Hurts I, my head. I'll go on record. Gucci Gang. If anybody likes that song out there, you cannot be friends with me <laughs> because I cannot stand that song. First of all, it's only like two minutes long, and he literally says like thirty words in the entire song. So yeah. like those kind of songs, I'm just like, dude, come on. Yeah, this ain't anything. But good. like other things, like Future and but Young Thug, so like I get into them. Yeah, like yeah. I don't know. There's a difference. Like the new wave of mumble rap, mm-hmm. I don't really like at yeah. all because it, like it's about like popping Xanax and like same like, yeah, turning up. Shit, like ew, shit, dude. Shit. <laughs> like what's wrong with you? I don't know. These kids are like 16. <laughs> I can't know? relate. Yeah, and they're all young. They're all like 14 and 15. Yeah, no, like, I don't relate to that. Lil, Lil, whatever. Lil Uzi, what's his name? Lil Uzi Vert. Uzi Vert, dude. See, Uzi Vert's not bad, but Lil Uzi, like their names are ridiculous. Lil, what Lil, Pump. With Uzi. Like, Lil Pump. Lil Pump. <laughs> Lil Pump. Lil Pump. Like we got thirties and hundred miles too. Wait, Lil <laughs> Pump. I think Lil Pump was just in Detroit, if I'm not mistaken. Because I'm so uh, glad like, I missed him. <laughs> uh, coworkers' fr- or or son was gonna go, but I don't think. I don't know. If people bailed on him or whatever. What's and, that other dude's name? Sav- Twenty One Savage. Twenty One Savage. Yeah. <laughs> dude. Yeah. I don't know. Hip hop is in a weird is in a weird transition period. Right it is. Now, I feel like. it it's a weird go, time. It can either music. go one. Yeah, it can either go like one way or the other. That's like, why I appreciate your music so much because I can relate to it. Right. Um. What's that one track that I I texted you once? I heard your new shit. I was like, what, Oh. What was um, Do you remember what song I said that yeah, I liked? Yeah. It was. Uh, Tell you no. Yeah. You know Tell yeah. you no. I love that song yeah. so much. That song's cool. I think what I want to get into is like a mixture of like alternative mm-hmm. music and hip hop. Because I feel like that's where everybody should be true to themselves, like and where they lie. I feel because, like that's how yeah, I grew up. Everything was, should connect. Exactly. That's why that's why we're huge like MGK fans. Like that mm-hmm. dude has finally started making music that like he wants yeah, to do. Yeah, because he's yeah. got he's got a rap background, he's got a rock background. Exactly. You know, I love when that. genres can kind of come together and yeah. it makes it merge yeah something new i think it makes both of them better yeah, you exactly. know sure. yeah except for except for country rap country oh rap. that's the yeah. worst yeah. combination ever rap. that oh. just irks me so bad dude it's it's so bad it's so like that's I, one I like that shouldn't music. yeah i like country music too yeah. it's not bad leave it alone it's fine yeah country rap come on man <laughs> <laughs> country <laughs> rap you just sound cheesy and corny it, it sounds bad there was one that was like bluegrass like metal oh <laughs> no dude i'm telling you it, it wasn't as what? bad as you think it was really? i was like really I was like, I don't listen to metal, but that's like, I would maybe listen to. Th- I mean, I wouldn't like buy a. CD. It's like peanut butter buy CDs, and ham. Peanut butter just don't go good. <laughs> it's like peanut butter and ham. I mean, it's like wearing a white shirt to a rib off. You don't do it. You don't do it. <laughs> Jesus. All right, so. Oh, I don't got any. Logan, other you think any more movies? <laughs> no. I still got. A oh, film. I got one. Super bad. Oh Super yeah, bad. that's a good one. Yeah. That is a good and one. And maybe Pineapple Express. Those two are like yeah, Pineapple Express. Yeah, even though they're kind of the same movie almost. But kinda. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really. I'm still trying to fill that. I, I probably I bring. I'm gonna remove Home Alone Four. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, there's no why. Remove, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna put it in Eight Mile for that. I love oh. Eight Mile's good. Every time I watch Eight Mile, I it's just always on MTV. I just watch the beginning and then I fast forward it to the <laughs> end. <laughs> the rap battles are the best part. Yeah, honestly. yeah. You know what my fifth spot might be? Honestly, 
What's and this that? is probably like my second favorite comedy after Dumb and Dumber is a Forty Year Old Virgin. Oh, that's a great one. That is one of the funniest movies there is. That's a good one. There is no bad part of that. See, if I no. had a list of all, all movies, funny. I could. Th- I can't think of any movies. Oh, all right. the movies. I want a list. Just a list of all starting at. That would take forever. I don't know. Like, what about? I'm just trying to like any of the Batman's or like any of the. I, I thought about that, yeah. but I've seen those all I know. a million times. Right. Ba- ba- those have been on so much to the point where like if it's on TV, I won't even watch it. Right. Yeah. Like right. they were really cool when they came out, but. Mm-hmm. Have you guys seen that movie, that Jim Carrey movie, the documentary? Dude, oh, that yeah. that movie might honestly be cracking. Man top on five. the Moon or the documentary? The documentary. Oh, I haven't seen the documentary. Yet. Crazy. Or, the, or the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the movie is great. The documentary so, makes you think. Where do like, I start? Wow. What's the What's the comedian's name that he? Andy Kaufman. Andy yeah. Kaufman. That's right. I heard yeah. good things about that. Dude, how it, weird it is. It is. He never went out of character off screen, mm-hmm. and he caused hell for this production. Yeah. Oh, really? He said. Like he got. So is he hard to work with? He got yeah. Oh dude. Yeah. He got so into character. He said Jim Carrey's not playing Andy Kaufman in this movie. He said I'm gonna let Andy play Andy. Co- How it would really be if Andy Kaufman was here, and that's what he did. Yeah. He made Whoa. it. Yeah. He made it fucking hell for s- on set. It's amazing. He would show up drunk. Like, yeah. To set. Did and- it turn out good? Yeah. The movie. Yeah. Or is that the documentary? This is the documentary about how the movie was yeah. made. The oh, documentary okay. shows the movie is scenes. really good. Yeah. So start with the movie. F- Probably, but, but yeah, like prob- how, how yeah. everybody else did. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, watch how they made it, and like so now, the- now you see like a scene in the movie, and you wonder how he acted right when the camera stopped rolling because he'd come off and he'd start bitching at people about stuff, and oh, it, yeah, he would not break character no. nope. ever. Yeah. No. ever, even when he went home. Yep. Like they said, he would he would pick him up, and he would already be like they would have a driver pick him up. He would be in character, yep. and Andy Kaufman himself had. Different characters that he plays. This is so. It's like yeah. an inception. It is. It's, it, weird. it's like okay. Jim Carrey plays Andy Kaufman, and now there's a documentary about Jim Carrey playing Andy Kaufman. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then Andy, yeah. and then Andy, like, what is like, me? Jo- like Jordan was saying, uh, Andy Kaufman plays characters. Yeah. So it was Char- Jim Carrey playing Andy Kaufman playing, playing character. Yeah. a guy named uh, Tony Clifton. Yeah. So it's like Tony Clifton. It's like the best character, Tropic dude. Thunder line. I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with me, man. Don't mess yeah, with it was me. nuts. I recommend it was uh I think it's called like From Jim to Andy. Yeah, or from Jim or Jim and Andy. Jim and Andy something. something yeah. Yeah. It's just like a it's documentary. On, it's on Netflix. I recommend it. It's oh, yeah. crazy. Cool. Both of them are on there. I gotta get on that. Movie I don't out. know if the actual movie. Man on the Moon, I don't think it is. See, I need to watch that movie okay, first. Yeah. yeah. So you haven't seen any of it either. Yeah. Alright, if I make this, you gotta take a shot. If I make this in your cup, you gotta take a shot at Crown. <laughs> Alright. Ooh. Please make it. Please make it. Yeah! Oh! Alright. Shot, shot. I'll be right back. You you gonna do it? Yeah. Three is good. Alright. I'll be right back. Oh, sorry. I like peaked. I'll be right. I'll be back. It's okay. You can peek. I didn't think I was gonna make it. I didn't know you peeked it. You like crown? Crown apple, yeah. Oh, is it crown apple or right? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's regular. Either or. I'm gonna straight do crown it royal. Well, I got oh, apples go. and I got crown. <laughs> <laughs> you don't gotta drink the whole thing. Just take a take a poll. Yes, you do. If I take a poll, you have to take a poll. Jordan, you want? I'm to not taking that? a poll. I don't know if I want. Oh, yeah, I don't really want to. Long night. What, is it noon yet? It's noon. All right, I'll take a poll. Oh, dude. Ah, that bit. Bleh. Yeah, that's not as good as a crown apple. No. <laughs> there you go. Killed it. Mm-mm. You killed the midi bottle. Get some of that mimosa <laughs> in you quick. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> hey, Jordan, that's way to stick by your buddy there. Yeah. You bailed him out. It's not the first time. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first time. Oh, man. Won't be the last. Good times. So, this is really random, but can you guys whistle good? I know I mentioned this earlier. I was like, are we having a whistle contest? And I kind of want to do it. I think I'm average. I yeah. think I'm below average. Um, do you suck average. in when you whistle? Or you suck do we have out? to whistle like a song? Or I think just, like, can you do that fucking... Yeah, I, can, I can't do that. Sometimes. Sometimes. I've never been able to... It takes to... me a little bit. No, cheers. Ooh. No, but I can do it. I like the tonality, though. Yeah. I'm not, <laughs> so not going to sit here. We'll be here 10 minutes. Because that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. I'm almost there. <laughs> but you Once I get it, like, my finger's right, but it takes me forever you, to do it. It's like you can't get someone's attention from far away with that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that comedian? Has a... 
Oh, oh, the guy um, from the league. Um, oh, the main character guy. <sighs> I haven't watched the league. I just know he's in it. <laughs> <laughs> Not Nick Kroll. Um, oh, that um, that, he was in a. Okay, he, he was in Paul Blart. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, okay, it's this comedian, the pen, the pen guy. Yeah, he's what got. Pen guy? He's got this. Uh, here, I'll, I'll pull him up. While okay, yeah, I need to see what this. I need to he's see. He's got his face. this. He's got this. He's got this bit. What's his name? I'm trying to find that. <laughs> um, he's got this funny bit where um, he's saying how when he was a kid, his dad um, had that whistle. You know that dad? He's like, it's that dad whistle. Oh, yeah. right? He goes, uh, he goes, I can't do it. Can anybody here do it? And then some guy rips it out of the crowd. Big one. And um, he goes, he goes, yes. That was it. <laughs> that was it. Oh my God. <laughs> he goes, yeah. yeah. He goes, he goes, you know, we'd be, you know, two blocks away. And we'd hear that whistle. Uh huh. And uh, <laughs> he goes, uh, for my kids, he goes, I don't have that. He goes, I got to go outside, be like, where are my boys? <laughs> 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 he goes, yeah, their buddies hear it. They go, what is that? They go, oh yeah, that's my gay dad. I gotta go. <laughs> he goes, Where are my boys? I want to get froyo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've never heard this before. guy, uh, Stephen Ranazissi. Yeah, you know that's that? the guy. Yeah, yeah that's that exactly guy. who I pictured. Oh yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. I probably I butchered the joke, but like the no, no, I get it, yeah. I get it. It's good stuff. I liked it. I was never a good whistler. I just wanted to see if you guys could. But obviously we're all we all we're average, subpar. Average yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're average. Very average. So Gross. Colin, so we went to a Globe Charters game last night. Yeah, how was that? Have you guys ever been to one? No, yeah. sir, sniff, so I've been to one. Dude, aren't they fucking cool? I cool. was so entertained. Yeah. I want to see him lose. Yeah. Once, I was I was Globe Charters. Is it an actual game? I didn't go to yeah. A, yeah. 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 But they, they do the stuff in between game. like yeah. How long how long does it take? Uh, two two hours. You well, know, that's not bad. No. Who even still plays for the Globe Trotters? Like, um, they got names. They got Moose. They got Ant. They got Flip. Flip. Are, these, are these rappers or <laughs> basketball? Players? They got Young Moose, Lil Flip, <laughs> uh, Big Big Ant, <laughs> <laughs> Lil Dipper. <laughs> Dude, how is that? Dude, Leah, who? Why how is, is nobody that? Lil Dipper? Lil, Dipper. Uh, Lil Dipper's good. Lil, that could be your rap name. That's Tyler. a good. Yeah, Lil, with all the Lils out there, there's no Lil Dipper. <laughs> Lil Dipper. I like that. Lil Dipper. No, but on our way, um, we were gonna get Spaghetti Warehouse right before the game. Um, I'm pulling into the spaghetti warehouse parking lot. Gigging, 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 gigging. Oh no! I'm like flat tire. What the fuck? Yeah. So I pull in. There's a goddamn rod sticking out of my front oh, left exactly. tire. I, it's not even a nail. I don't know what it is. What you run over know. a rod for? I don't know. No. You think, <laughs> I don't know. You think I, that'd be fun or something? Yeah, I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> I know. But um, so I'm you like, think that'd be funny. <laughs> How funny is it now? <laughs> Doing on purpose. No, but I, I'm like, it's six o'clock on a Saturday. I'm looking up all the tire, all the tire places are closed. I'm like, what the? I'm like, what the fuck do I do? I'm like, do you got AAA? Nope. Do you got AAA? <sighs> Did. Nope. Used to. <laughs> yeah. Used to. <laughs> Never used it. Nope. Did you have a spare? Um, we did, but it was like literally one degree outside. Yeah, yeah. fuck that. And I had no gloves. That shit's probably frozen on there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so what we did, we called Walmart. We, <laughs> it was pretty much like a, yeah, I don't know, a sequel to, <laughs> to the Colin and I have a story the, about. Yeah, but um, yeah. So Walmart's like five miles away. I rattle this thing in, get mm-hmm. the tire fixed. We get Subway naturally, and we ended up making the show, which was everything was fine, but. It just sucks well, like, when you get a flat tire, you think your whole night's done. Especially in a time like that where you're about yeah. to do something. Oh, I was dude. so stressed out, dude. You drove five miles on a flat tire? Mm-hmm. Well, it wasn't flat. The PSI's, it was like... Oh, yeah. I'm I like to get there quick. And I'm like, Tor, we got to go right now. Yeah, right otherwise you'll fuck up your room. Yeah. No, but it didn't. By the time I got to Walmart, everything was fine. They fixed it up, so... Well, that's good. Yeah, we had that same problem when we went to see... Uh, we went to a Mumford concert in Troy, Ohio. Nice. Yeah. Get to Finley. Yep. So I didn't even know my tire was flat. Some guy. Oh, some guy. On the highway. Next to us rolled out our window. He goes, your tire's low. It's low. I'm like, yeah. So we. So pull. I finally, I'm like, all right, let's check it. We pull off into like a gas station and 
there it is. It's fucking about sitting on the rim. It is. Like, fuck. It's pretty much sitting on the rim. And we got another, what, hour or two ago? Yeah. Dude, this is in Finley? Yeah. Sad. So Sad. Sitting, <laughs> at, sitting at like a speedway. Us two trying to change the tire is pretty comical. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was early in my tire changing yeah, days. Yeah, me too. Right. Now I'm yeah. pretty good at it. I, yeah, I'm, I'm a veteran yeah. now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we find, we go, th- it probably takes us like 45 minutes to get this fucking thing changed. And then Walmart's like, I don't know, only like five minutes away, no, but yeah, you got to get, yeah. get back on the highway. Yep. Yeah. You got to go 60 and to I'm, keep up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're riding on this, t- on this, on this spare on this bike that we're tire. not sure that we put on the correct way yeah. <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. I don't know how well it's on there. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like you know white knuckling this thing to, you know, fucking sweating. <laughs> Just get to the Walmart. I get to the Walmart. Uh, go around. The Go guy, around, please. The guy that the guy that changes the tire, super shady, like big guy, like what you see, like in like uh, in the movies where the he movies. tries to hustle you. Oh, yeah, yeah, like how much? How much do you? How much you got? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like that. All I remember was, um, well, not all I remember, but the thing I took away from my time at Finley Walmart is when we left, um, Ooh, yeah. I had a golf bag in the back, and next time I went golfing, I had no golf balls. <laughs> What? And I had just bought like two new cases or whatever and put them in my golf bag. I was like, "Fuck, you took my golf balls." <laughs> that is amazing. I was like, "That's what the they things. took." Yeah. yeah. Why, Why not take the whole bag? Yeah. I was like, "What the fuck?" That'd be too obvious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know they they knew that. I wasn't going back to Finley for them golf balls. <laughs> that yeah. that's very like, they true. Took my fucking golf balls. And that you can't <laughs> as really... if I wasn't you know pissed off enough. And you can't really prove it. No, no they've done that before. You know. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Little things. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. That is shitty as fuck. Ain't it? Ain't it? World's hey. weird. And then I got a flat tire going to see Louis C.K. You did? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. What's in, up with in all Michigan? These? I don't know. That's why when I got this uh, new Jeep, I got the tire plan. <laughs> <laughs> the tire plan. Extra well, ten bucks a month, it. they'll cover anything. <laughs> that'll do it. Yep. I know. I kind of want to get AAA now, just because I don't want to have to go through that horse shit. Like, what if I was nowhere near a Walmart? Right. Oh, what if I was on the turnpike? Right. Yeah. And, like the next exit yeah. or the next do do? rest stop was twenty miles away. Call a tow truck. It's the best you can do. Oh, then man, you're paying terrible. out the ass. Oh, yeah. you're oh, paying hundreds of bucks. Yep. That's terrible. Louis C.K., how was he? Was he good? Great. I've seen him twice. Yeah. And hilarious. Well, oh, no, you didn't go I, the second time. I was there the first time. Yeah, the first time. Hilarious. Hilarious. It, kind of, it kind of sucks that he's going to be done now for Yeah, he's going through some shit. Yeah, uh, that misconduct. We might not hear from him again. I mean, you can't do that shit, though. But, what? No. what happened to uh, he's part of that sexual uh, misconduct. Yeah, just like whole yeah. thing. He, he said he said he would. Uh, I guess he would stand in front of like hotel doors with women in there, whip his dick out, and start beating off in front of them. And what? All that stuff. Yeah, like not physically, it, but it's still that's messy. weird. He didn't like touch anybody or anything, but like he would do shit like that where they're like, "We don't want to see this shit." No, yeah, bro. it's kind of still, a, yeah. It, like all these a, stories are coming out, and it's about people you don't really yeah. give a shit about, and then it's like somebody that you like actually yeah. like. You're like, "What the fuck, right. man?" Yeah, dude. Yeah. After hearing about it, like you the Bill Cosby me. stuff, I'm like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. And then someone you actually like pay attention to, it's like it's a it's a bummer because he was one like, of my favorite comedians yeah. and yeah. influences. His shows great, yeah. Yeah. his standups were great, shows and, were great. and now it's like movies were funny. I, all his shits got pulled from Netflix, and yeah. it's like, Whoa. damn. Yeah. I was like, yeah. I can't believe that. Have you seen the Dana Carvey? Documentary the about the Document. Dana Carvey show. Oh, yeah. No, I want to see that though, dude. If you've never seen the Dana Carvey show, it's all. But Louis Louis C.K. was, was one of the he was head writer. Yeah, yeah, he was one of the head writers. Yeah. Him and Dana Carvey kind of both. But, yeah, yeah. That's like when I first started. Because like, I wanted to see that because um, of the people that yeah, Steve the, Carell's in the it. The people that wrote for the show and performed on the show. The mm-hmm. Dana, it was what he did after SNL, and it was still kind of like a sketch comedy show. But the people on, yeah, like Steve Carell, and this Louis had C.K. an awesome cast, and uh, like I think Stephen, Stephen Colbert, Colbert was on there, nice. and this show only la- or lasted like six episodes. Yeah. Oh wow. I was that's like, it? if those people were doing that now, this thing would go forever. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's because people didn't know who they were or whatever. They were nobody guess, or you know. just starting out, right? Yeah, it was like Colbert's first like acting job, really, because he was doing like improv comedy beforehand. There's and now like, they they all he used to if you, have once in a while things. you can find him on like a, a rerun of Who's Line. Really? Oh yeah, yeah he did. He, he filled in like once right. in a while. Yeah. Oh yeah, he yeah. did. Yeah. He did. Now that you mention that, yeah, yeah, it's a shame. <laughs> it's a damn it's shame. It's a damn shame. Well, guys, I'm sure we could keep talking for fucking hours. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we just hit the one hour mark, yeah. and this is usually about where we yeah. start to wrap. And why don't we play uh, Jordy's last song? And 
call it a cast. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, before we get out of here, though, Jordan, how was your experience on AM Alcohol? <laughs> no, nah, this was amazing. I'm definitely coming back. If I yeah. don't come back before next year, I'm telling everybody I'm coming back one year from now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm buying bottles of champagne for everybody here. We're going to drink an entire bottle. <laughs> Dude, oh, let's that's, do it. That's what we're doing. One just, year from just, now. Just everybody gets champagne? a bottle. Just champagne. Do we get to mix it? No. Nope. No. <laughs> you have to drink it straight I, nope, out of the I bottle. I like that. Straight everybody out of the bottle. Straight champagne. Dude, that'd be badass. Yeah, it's happening. <laughs> All right. Six, five days. So awesome. I'll pencil you in a year from now. All right. <laughs> All right. Everyone enjoy this song. Jordan, what song do you want to play? Uh, from? We're gonna play. What do you think? Ty Ocean, probably Ocean and on. Or, yeah, sounds good. What do you think? Yeah, we'll play. We'll play the song Ocean. Ocean. Yeah, we'll give everybody some warm vibes. For okay. Today. Cool. All right. All right. So here's Jordy Rob with Ocean. Hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. We'll see you next time. See you. See you, bitches. Peace. Forget about emotion, you know what, I ain't with the bullshit It fit like, I hit it and I'm floating It feel like, I'm swimming in the ocean Hold up, forget about emotion You know what, I ain't with the bullshit It fit like, I hit it and I'm floating It feel like, I'm swimming in the ocean Hold up I might hit a beach up, chilling with a girl, she bumping Travis Mama Sita. Told me fill a cup, we drinking vodka by the liter. Always been the same, you never wonder where to reach us. Hit the bar with Austin, asking what it cost him. Told me not to worry about it, I said that's some bar shit. Hit some out of space that had me feeling like a Martian. Now I'm super wavy, boy, I'm nauseous, ah shit. Now the waves are crashing, heard you was a savage. Trying to take you out of here, let's move to Calabasas. Life is moving fast with all these People moving past this, but when I look at you and make it go away like magic. You say I'm good with words, but you better with them clothes. When I saw you in that two piece, girl, I had to let you know. We can keep it on the low, have the sand all in your toes. We be laughing at these hoes while we busy being ghosts. Hold up, forget about emotion. You know what? I ain't with the bullshit. It fit like I hit it and I'm floating. It feel like I'm swimming in the ocean. Hold up. Forget about emotion, you know what? I ain't with the bullshit. It feel like I hit it and I'm floating. It feel like I'm swimming in the ocean. Hold up, I can't keep my feelings straight. I've been in the days, it's a struggle to communicate. Yeah, I've had a few today. Yeah, we lit illuminate. Don't be asking questions, wait till after for the QA. I would tell you nothing if I tell you how I feel. Ask me why I'm running when she show me something real. Mine is on the fritz, they say ignorance is bliss But I'm drowning in the liquor, got me breathing like a fish The wave is always highest when it comes down Stare at the horizon, it's just us now Picking up my conscience, I can hear you Somewhere in the distance, I can feel you Something like the tide, I've been rolling Living on the edge, I've been coasting Feeling like I'm swimming in the ocean Feeling like I'm swimming in the ocean